Hey, it's Kendall with Black Ovis, and uh, we're talking Stone Glacier gear today. Got Ryan Lampers here with me. Ryan, appreciate you coming mm -hmm. by. Appreciate you having me. Ryan's a, uh, I don't know if you're an ambassador or just a, you just love Stone Glacier. I'm a lover of Stone Gear. You're a Montana guy. Yeah, they're nice and close. They're Montana. Cool, cool group. So uh, I've used all these pieces minus the pack. I use a different pack. And uh, you, we asked you when you were coming in and said, hey, what are your top five pieces from stone that you absolutely yeah. just never leave home without like th these are the these are the items that really define the stone glacier product line so uh i struggled by the way yeah you did come up with just five the so reply was a little, yeah it took a while took a i had to i had to kind of probe you a little bit <laughs> I had to cut some things out <laughs> like how, how can you uh, so i mean you know maybe we should have done a top 10 but top five and I've seen you beat the heck out of your gear. You're mm -hmm. not kind of products. Mm -hmm. And stone has lasted. I've used just about everything stone's made, made and uh, it's absolutely bomber. It is. And, and just before the video, we were talking a little bit about Kurt, the designer, um, and how particular he is on features and, and durability, on lightness. Um, we like the fact you and I that he's tall and lanky, so mm -hmm. he's got long arms. So all their mm -hmm. shirts and other things are long. They favor uh, guys like you and me. It's, it's great to have a guy like Kurt because I mean, Kurt's a he's a minimalist. He he counts every ounce. He's tough as nails, and uh, he's a sheep guy. So he's building gear that's you know gonna you know take all the abuse that a sheep <laughs> yep. uh, hunter you know goes through. And he wants it extremely lightweight yet tough. And most of us, most guys that buy this product are not going to be going sheep hunting. No. So he's kind of come opposite. It, I mean, I know he grew, probably grew up hunting deer and stuff like that, but everything I know about Kurt is he's a sheep hunter yeah. that, that lives in Montana. Right. And yeah. so... I may never hunt sheep. I don't know. But I love this gear for deer and elk and bear and all oh, the other yeah. hunts I go on, and it, it works great. So let's jump into your top five mm -hmm. and uh, and tell me why each product is in your top five and what you love about it, and, and maybe we'll dive in a couple features about each thing. So what's uh, what's our first thing here? I guess we'll go with the Grumman jacket. So puffy jacket, something that's in my pack from August hunts all the way through November hunts. Mm -hmm. um, a couple things like there's a lot of puffy jackets out there right but no shortage of puffy jackets. yeah what set you know what sets this one apart for me is the weight of it mm -hmm. just how warm it is you know i think i think i saw they, they put over like what is it five ounces of, of you know grumman down in these jackets yeah and overall i think this jacket is like 11 or 12 ounces so extremely lightweight and extremely extremely warm so i this is the jacket that i'm wearing if i'm hunting the those late Montana hunts where it's in the minus temps and yep. um, just keeps me extremely warm. So I've seen you on like spring bear hunts uh, on the videos that you and yeah. Brian do. Yep, um, extremely packable as well. Yeah, which is important when you um, do long trips. You want you know you want your pack to be as as small as possible. So they've come you know all their puffy stuff comes with these um, little stuff sacks mm -hmm. and yeah they get really really compact in the pack any features about this particular jacket outside the weight or uh just the extremely good warmth to weight ratio mm -hmm. that you really like i mean standard pockets um, standard pockets good hood the hood is important i think mm -hmm. we all agree uh, it's got to be the right fit and this one fits just perfectly over over my brim and um, you know, it's again, it's it's it goes back to Kurt. Very minimalist. There's not a lot of extras to this thing. Nope. It's it's packability and it's it's the weight of it overall and how warm it keeps you. How, and how keeps durable me. has the uh, the fabric been for you? I mean, you you wear this thing a lot. I wear it a ton. Now, how I treat you know a puffy jacket. I'm not hunting in puffy gear. I'm glassing. Right. Or I'm sitting around at camp, sitting in the tent or whatever. But you know, when I'm out beating brush or hiking from spot to spot i'm i'm typically not wearing this that stuff. that's coming off it's in the pack yep okay. so i'm not looking for a real heavy <laughs> abrasion resistant material because that's just going to add weight mm -hmm. i want something that's going to be light in my pack super warm i'm going to put it on when i stop to glass and that that's why this kind of fits the bill for me but, and it and it is exactly the same reason why i added the puffy pants i was going to say to let's list. dive into number two it's Would almost identical uh extremely lightweight really packable good you know warmth ratio for how light this is 
And it's another thing that I'm not going to be hiking in because you will sweat like crazy. It's just extremely warm. Yeah. This all kind of fits together. Though. Runs the system for you. It does. So, you know, let's go into the sleeping bag real quick. It's a 15 degree bag. Mm -hmm. I and run they make a, a 15, zero. The they chill do. Cut. They make a, a zero degree bag. And I've found that, you know, you're packing an, an extra seven ounces when you take the zero degree bag. Right. I think it's two pounds, 10 ounces. And Still bulk. extremely yeah. light, a little bit bulkier. 15 degree chill coat, you're looking at two pounds, three ounces. I take this 15 degree on every hunt throughout the season, even those late minus temp hunts or single digit hunts late November. And how I, you know, how I make this a zero degree bag is I just put on my puff pants, sleep in my down jacket, and then I'm not packing that extra seven ounces. I'm not packing the extra loft. So um, I'll literally sleep in this, sleep in my puff, and um, Into the crawl in the 15 degree bag. And it's, I don't know what the rating is at that point, but I, you won't get cold in that system. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's a really smart, smart idea. I, I've used this 15 degree bag and it's interesting. I, I don't, you know, I've slept in a lot of different sleeping bags and, and, mm -hmm. uh, and the guys here, Pleco is to give me, uh, give me a lot of gas about the fact that I, I own too many sleeping bags, too many tents. Of all the sleeping bags that I own and use, I don't know what it is, but this is a comfortable bag. I absolutely love. When you're a big guy how, too, like spacious. Yeah, it's 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 super spacious it's nice. on top. Like you know, and they don't make a larger or, tall, or short. It's one size fits. Yeah, most I think there anyone. you go. Kurt's a tall guy yep. like you are, and he love wanted you, Kurt. A, wanted a bag that was <laughs> tall and kind of fit everybody. Um, and yet they still manage to keep it right around that two pound range, so two pounds, three ounces. But the thing I love about it is, you know, back when I was trying to shave ounces and looking for the absolute lightest bag possible, yep. I'd find one, but inevitably you get in it and you're like a oh, coffin, you know, you're you just a can't move. And, and so this one, it actually tapers out on the top. So it's really spacious, a lot of elbow mm -hmm. room. Um, and it's just, it's like the perfect bag for me. I absolutely love it. Fourth piece would be what's on your chest. Bino harness. I think they call this the skyline. skyline. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I've ran this a uh, Very unique couple years. harness, like it is. super unique. I've only used it once, uh, admittedly, last year is the first time I got my hands on one. Um, totally different than most any bino harness. Again, I, I asked the same question, does the world need another bino harness? And then this, this, yep. This is a really cool harness. Tell yeah, me about I've, why you like it. I've seen a lot of bino harnesses that are very insignificant differences um, as far as how they're made. This one though, one thing, one of my favorite uh, functions on this specific one is overall weight. This thing is ridiculously lightweight. Crazy light. Again, it comes back to Kurt and his mad scientist ways. He just, he just created this to be extremely light. Mm -hmm. There's no extra bulk on this at all. Um, really functional with the front flip on it. Yep. This is just so easy to single one hand, hand operation. It. Yeah, yep. one hand, you know, you can pull them out, dump them back in real real quick and easy. So I love that. I love the simplicity. It's got just enough, you know, it's got this little side pouch here so you can slip some stuff in here, chapstick, whatever, a lighter. And it's also got a back pocket behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got adjustability here, so you can kind of tighten down this mm -hmm. top piece. It cinches the down. Yep. And then this is fully adjustable, so you can just pull this off the Velcro, dump it down a little bit if you've got a shorter, yep. um, shorter in height binos that you're slipping in there. So these That's, are a bit tall, so these are 50s. They're maxed out, almost maxed out. Right at the out, top of that Velcro. But you can dump this down and have a lot of adjustability. I have some 8x32s that I can run in here, and I run all the way down to the bottom, and this thing is so trim. Yep. It's super lean. Yep. And it also, you know, one of the other things that a lot of us have gone to is running either a can of bear spray. You know, you can slip that right under here. It's got got some molly right here on yep, that that the runs molly. front facing or on the bottom. Yep. yep. And you can run, um, you know, or a chest rig, you know, for your for your pistol. Uh, you can run that under there as well. So you just, hunt a lot in uh, bear country. So yeah, yeah. In Montana now, geez, it's it's hard to go on a trip and not run into G bears. So. <laughs> Always finding G bears. Always, basically, we're running chest rigs with a pistol, and then um, you know bear spray on your hip. Gotcha. And this thing just fits it really well. 
with the uh, pistol that I run. Super adjustable as far as the you know top yep. and sides. Um, a ton of adjustability. You can run a all tether around. if you want. You don't typically run the tether, is what you were saying before. I don't. I don't. But a smart man probably would because you know <laughs> if you ever do leave this open like this and you lean over, we've it all done it. Forward. It falls out. Oh yeah. And so a smart man would definitely keep that on there. Um, I just haven't attached mine, so I don't have them on mine. But. Gotcha. The rangefinder operates almost identical to the uh Zip, to the to the vinyl front flip just yep. like that real easy one hand uh i love the whole system here it's it's by far my my favorite i've ran a crud ton of these i, I don't even know how many different vinyl harnesses i have in my garage it's a lot but this is definitely my favorite cool yep. number four so number five on the list is your pack pack of choice for you is this guy right here absolutely tell us a little bit about which, what this one is Big and one. so um you know everybody hunts a little bit differently this uh this is a what do they call it the sky guide mm -hmm. 7900 it's a big pack it may sound a little bit much for guys but i can't stress enough how compact these things can get if you want it to be like you look at this pack right now i mean that could be a 5,000 cubic it's pretty lean pack it's very lean everything tightens up 7,900, I, I go with this for a bunch of different reasons. A lot of the trips we take are 10 days, 12 days. We pack rafts sometimes. I just want as much space as possible. Mm -hmm. um, you can go with the lid on this one. You can pitch it. Uh, it's got a roll top that you can tighten down. Cool. So what you were calling bivy mode where you pull the lid off. Yeah, I take the lid off completely real mm -hmm. easy to, to just rip it off. And um, it's pretty slick because, you know, when you go bivy mode, or you can just take the lid off, and, and I run this on stock sometimes if I want to go really lightweight, throw a bottle in it, a um, bunch of snacks. Just run that, that over your need. shoulder. But you can see on this top here, I mean, bivy mode, it's got, it's got the webbing to just bring this thing yep. nice and tight. So real tight, or you can the, adjust it out so it rolls up real high. Yep. I mean, this thing gets don't need the lid. super tall like that. Really tall. I use the, when you're doing 10 days, Kendall, you know how much food you pack? Like bulk Tons. is a thing, right? So I would pack double because I'm always eating. Yeah, on you the probably mountain. eat more than I do, <laughs> even a big guy. But it goes way high. So 10, 12 days of food, you're looking at 20, 22 pounds of food. Um, and you just need the space for that. If you're running a 5,000, 5,900, something like that, it's probably more how most guys hunt. But if you're doing the big trips, I think this is like a six pound pack, right in that six pound, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit over six pounds. Um, I don't see why going a little bit bigger when it covers all your trips, the big trips, the short trips, the day trips. And you're day hunting with this pack, mm -hmm. taking the lid off, running at bivy mode. Yep. You've got access points from the top down or you've got access on this, this horseshoe. The uh, horseshoe is one zipper. of my favorites. Super nice, because you can just Jesus. literally zip it open, full, yep. like lay the whole thing down it's great and uh i love the horseshoe option you can get to all your gear you can add easily. accessory uh pouches here which we we sell on black yep. globus and stone has there's some great uh kit pieces you can put in here they got this x pack in here as well that's just i mean you don't get the blood on your back mm -hmm. you know when you throw a uh you know, meat bag yep. in there or whatever but um it's got a meat shelf so it's got a load shelf real easy to get to that and load it up I mean, there's not a lot. I, there's nothing I really don't like about this pack. It's great. <laughs> it's got spotter pocket on one side. You know, if you're rifle hunting, you slip your rifle on the and other side. It's got side. an additional pocket here on the front. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little bit of a piece where you can stow something here, tripod like a tripod, legs that or... the legs stick in here, and then you just strap it down the front. Right. This pack, is re it really fits all the pieces. Uh, this is on the X-curve frame. X-curve. Which we were talking about a little bit earlier. Everybody's a little different, right? As yep. far as which uh, frame fits them best. I like the Crux, but that's mm -hmm. just my, that's my personal, that's what I think feels better on my back. But yep. a lot of guys really like the X-curve and the idea of the, the, the frame that's got more obviously curved in the name. A little bit more the, rigid, I would say, mm -hmm. as far as, you know, flexibility. Just a wee bit heavier, but uh, yep. solid pack, either of theirs. Um, so this rounds out your top five. I did ask you what would be number six. If you had a sixth man award, what would, what, uh, what piece of gear would you, uh, would you say? And it's funny cause it's the sixth one is probably the one, the, the one piece that I wear every single day. It's not just when I'm hunting, but it's their, uh, de Havilland light pants. I love the de Havilland pants as well. 
these pants are just so comfortable. They've got, it's just a good system. The belt system on it, mm -hmm. you know, you can go into the backcountry fat and come out skinny and it still <laughs> gives you a little adjustability there in uh, their pretty slick system that they've come up with. If you've not seen the, the Havilland pant or the Havilland light, this, this Velcro system they've got in here for adjusting the weight, the, the waist diameter essentially it, it, it's, it's a genius it really is mm -hmm. um i've got a good genius. friend in the that's been in the outdoor industry for 25 years uh in the retail business uh and he when he saw this nothing nothing really wows him any longer he's seen just about everything but when i showed him this he came in the other day a uh, few months back he was like mind blown this yeah. this is this is innovative and it's unique enough and i when i first saw it i thought ah, it's kind of gimmicky but having used it in the field, I absolutely love this this feature on their pants, and absolutely. it's uh, it's worth um, using and getting getting used to. And it's you funny. can layer underneath. When I first saw yeah. it, I thought it was gimmicky too, and then I started using it, and I was like, dang, this is just makes way too much sense. Because, like I said, um, you typically come out a little bit lighter on the end of your trip, mm -hmm. and these pants really, you know, extreme. There's a little stretch to them, really, uh, uh, just real comfortable. They've got the full zip. Which I love. Half the time hiking up, I run the zip completely yeah. open. Just feels like you're wearing shorts. So I thought it was a little upset, uh, like a little much. Yeah. A little obsessive. I thought, gosh, the full you zip. really need a zip that big. <laughs> I mean, if you can do that, might as well make yeah. a full zip, like all the way up and down. But the more I used it, it I was like, oh, Kurt nailed oh, it. He yeah. really did. Run. I run the zipper from the bottom up. At times, I run it from the top down if I just need a little bit, or all the way out. Yeah. Um, it's it's pretty pretty amazing and the knee, other knee pad slot yep they got the slot in mm -hmm. there if you want to run knee pads and i think they did this because if you'll notice a lot of the stone gear a lot of the um you know the bottoms that they have i think they have a helio set it the helio runs has a zipper. as well yeah the rain gear has full zips but it just makes it easier to get to skin when you have this on both your layers you, you can know, dump. Your base layer yeah. and your pan itself you're gonna so. dump a ton of heat mm -hmm immediately and and you know last year using this on my spring bear hunt in idaho it, it got super warm these pants i think the guys that were with me were super jealous because they were running different brands and i would just dump that out and open they, them up get to the top it was like i was at the beach it was up. great <laughs> yep. Yep. um well man thanks for coming in it's cool to, to hear why these are your top five and of course your sixth man award goes to the de Havilland pant yep um all the Stone Glacier products we carry on Black Ovis, we're, uh, we love love their product line. They've got a lot of new new pieces coming out 2022. We're super excited about and uh, some different colorways, and you know about a handful of those things. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, looking forward to uh, to 2022 with the Stone Glacier lineup. If you've got uh, questions about any of the Stone products, give us a holler, check on Black Ovis, or leave a comment below. We'd be happy to answer the questions for you.